In the 1990s, Iceland was booming into modern times after centuries of isolation and foreign exploitation. And under the leadership of Prime Minister David Otson, the country began experimenting with American-style capitalism. Washer women were driving to work in Toyota uh, Land Cruisers because uh, everybody could get a loan. One of these experiments made a splash. An Icelandic startup named Decode Genetics announced a mega deal with Swiss drug giant Hoffman La Roche. Together, they'd find breakthrough cures from the DNA of the ultimate test tube nation. Both politicians and the government at that time was deeply involved in this. The Icelandic government then made history by allowing the company to make a genetic database by presumed consent of all Icelanders living and dead. It drove both critics and investors into frenzy. This free market era launched a new and proud Iceland, often ranking as the wealthiest, happiest and least corrupt nations in the world. Luck is really smiling upon us and it would be um, rude not to be happy. Iceland has never defaulted on its sovereign debt and will not. But in October of 2008, the party was over. Iceland was nearly bankrupt and so was Decode Genetics. And amidst the chaos, samples of DNA from more than one third of Icelanders became the assets of an American corporation. The government supported Decode, all the media supported Decode. So who were the suckers? The population here in Iceland. The banana republic of the north is back. But what lessons can we learn from a small country's roller coaster ride? Find out by decoding Iceland, the DNA of greed. <laughs>